Peggy 18. CTOS Threat Monitoring Report Number 193A. Subject, Aiden Pierce. On October 26, 2012, at 1630 Central Time, CTOS Network Security detected multiple breaches in our system. This was a level three network intrusion. On-site surveillance cameras and first-hand eyewitness confirm Aiden Pierce at the site of the intrusion. We now have solid confirmation that Pierce can breach the CTOS populist database at will. This grants him access to names, salaries, occupations, and countless clusters of private information. Attempts to track and block his access points have proven unsuccessful. The illegal hacks used by Pierce give him access to secure banking accounts. In this case, he uses private account information to withdraw stolen funds from a nearby ATM. Moments later, we detected a new intrusion from an unknown party. It appears we are not the only people tracking and monitoring Pierce. Make note of this as we'll come back to it later. Starting at 1632 Central Time, a series of escalating events. Pierce accesses data on Sandy Higgins, a teacher with a restraining order against her ex-husband Bobby Sawicki. The CTOS crime prevention system flags Higgins as a potential victim. Upon receiving the CTOS notification of an imminent crime, Pierce decides to follow Miss Higgins. This course of action was noted by a criminologist and will be added to his upcoming psych report. I swear I will. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Don't touch me. I'm warning you. Here we see Pierce intervene, saving Higgins. When the attacker flees, the CTOS crime prevention system prompts Pierce to capture her attacker. It should be noted that this indicator is part of a beta system intended for Chicago PD. We don't know how Pierce gained access to this, but it's clear this breach goes far deeper than we ever imagined. Next is a hack we were completely unaware of. Pierce somehow overloads an electrical fuse box. The implications of this are obvious, but what happens next is even worse. Chicago PD responds to the disturbance but Pierce eludes the officers by using our system against them. When a CTOS hack isn't immediately available, Pierce does not hesitate to use more conventional tools. Our image recognition systems confirm that Pierce is armed with a 9mm handgun. The lesson is, do not mistake Pierce for just another hacker. He's something more. Despite Chicago PD's considerable show of force against Pierce, he managed to escape the area by disrupting the CTOS transit system. One of our top priorities should be to find the exploit he used and close it off. As Pierce makes his escape, we again see clear evidence that an unknown party was monitoring his actions. We must track down this individual and determine if he or she is trying to stop him, or worse, help him. We must protect our system, and that means containing Aiden Pierce. Any breach of CTOS is a danger to everyone.